Well, one of the big uh, issues in the last election cycle that was suppressed by the mainstream media in our country was the laptop belonging to Hunter Biden, uh, the uh, president's son. Uh, Walker Wildman, Ed Tagliano, I'm Tim Wildman. We've talked many times, Ed, about the uh, bias that exists among the liberal media in our country. Uh, and th this could be a, a, in a, really uh, a, a election changing uh, bias, right? On this, la on this laptop. Yeah, so in 2020, this laptop was found at a computer repair shop and it became clear the New York Post examined the right. emails on it and said that they believed these were, this was a valid laptop, Hunter Biden's laptop. They authenticated it. They authenticated it. And what happened was the mainstream media, including the New York Times, Washington Post, but also Twitter, Facebook, they yes. all completely right. put uh, the, the kibosh on any discussion. In fact, the New York Post was banned. Right. Uh, from right. any discussion the of fourth the fourth largest la newspaper in America, yes, was banned. Now, recently, the, the Washington Post has come out and amazingly said uh, it looks like this was all true, and they actually, in their op-ed, said we're not sure why it was suppressed in 2020. Well, you did it, yes. <laughs> and others like you did this. It's clear to protect Joe right. Biden, candidate Biden's right. chances of throwing Donald Trump out of office. This was election interference on the part of the big uh, social media giants, Walker, and yeah. also uh, the liberal media. Now, what's on that laptop, which Hunter Biden left at a repair shop, I mean, it sounds sure. like some kind of lifetime movie or something. It's so ridiculous. How can you leave your laptop at a repair shop and it's got all this salacious material on it, Yeah, which... Uh, Really, he's only confirming that Hunter Biden made millions uh, off his dad's name. Yeah, and, and and to your point, a lot of people are wanting to focus on the explicit material that's on the laptop, pornography, and other items like that. But the main focus that I think we should be turning our attention to is not what Hunter Biden did personally, you know, yeah, like his with drug with addiction, his drug like addiction that. or prostitution, right? But rather. Uh, was Joe Biden as vice president uh, getting kickbacks and money from foreign governments and foreign entities in exchange for different policy decisions as vice president with uh, Barack Obama? That's what needs yeah. to be the highlight of the investigation, not Hunter Biden and his <clears throat> misdeeds. Well, this won't be investigated by the FBI, I don't think, or the Justice Department because they're too compromised given that Biden is president. Hmm. They're not going to investigate the son of the sitting president. However... If November goes like we think it is, the Republicans take over the House of Representatives, then they're going to open up hearings in January about Hunter Biden making millions of dollars off his dad's name and did his dad get kickbacks also. That'll be investigated next year. We'll see you next time on Reason and Company.